Naira's Andy Serling with Armin in the VAC on 104.5, the team you're home for New York sports, joins us every Thursday at 345 throughout the Saratoga season. And it's funny, Andy, yesterday I was with some buddies. We were at the Yankee game, and one of them said, man, I try to keep up with the Saratoga season as much as I can. I go out there as much as I can. But where do I go to get all the scoop? It's, it's Naira.com, right? That's what I was telling them. That's where it all is. If you can't be at the track, that's the closest you'll ever get. I mean, We've said it before, we'll say it again, and if you're not going to Naira.com, you're not signing up for a betting account on Naira.com, you're missing out. There's all sorts of good stuff going on. We have a 10% winner's bonus on the pick threes on Monday. I actually managed to take advantage of that for the first time this week on Monday. Yeah. Uh, a rarity, and then you can watch all the races. You can watch them in different angles, the head-ons, the pans. We've got cameras all over the place, cameras in the paddock, and all sorts of stuff so that you can actually feel like you're there if for some reason you can't make it to the track. Good stuff. Well, congratulations on that pick three. Good luck to everybody else on Naira.com uh, giving it your best shot for the races coming up this weekend. And Andy, before we get to those, tonight is at the Post Live at the Parting Glass in downtown Saratoga. What's your guest list looking like? Well, we've got Jimmy Patsos, who's the uh, Siena basketball coach. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the round here. Big oh, yeah. racing fan. Been on the show a number of times. Always look forward to seeing Jimmy. And uh, also Jerry, Jerry Crawford, who is president of Donegal Racing and a very interesting guy. And Donegal, of course, has Key Nice. Getting ready for the Travers. Key Nice was second to American Pharoah in the uh, Haskell, third in the Belmont. Was a bit of a tough trip. Tough trip in the Derby. Could be really sitting on a big one. And I was hoping to have trainer Brian Lynch. Fortunately, there was some confusion with him. So right now I'm looking at some other trainers and, and, and trying to figure out exactly who to get. But I uh, have to announce that a little later on Twitter once I've solved that problem. Well, hey, and if you need somebody, you know, in a pinch, just let me know, Andy. I'll, I'll gladly come out and let you know, you know, how I look for the winners of each race. And uh, I got some some good tips from Victor Espinosa. I just kind of look under each horse and uh, give it a go. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. It's good to know I have a backup, just in case. You know, I, I, I'm here for you, baby. I got your back. Andy Serling of Naira with Armin in the back at Andy Serling on Twitter. You can hear at the Post Live on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on 104.5 The Team and on Monday after the Yankees game. We do have a Yankees game running tonight, so the way to go hear it live is to be there at the Parting Glass in downtown Saratoga. Andy, what do we have on the card uh, for this weekend out of Saratoga Racecourse? Well, you've got the Alabama, which is, you know, the Philly Travers. Yeah. And you really got all the big names. And at this point, I have to think on uh, the winner of the Alabama, unless there's an upset, and I'm actually kind of hoping for an upset, you're going to, in all likelihood, see the leader of the three-year-old Philly division, a division that has been way up for grabs, because you've got the two Larry Jones horses, lovely Maria, who won the Kentucky Oaks, bombed last time in the Delaware Oaks. She's looking for redemption. I'm a chatterbox who finished first, but was justifiably DQ in the CCA Oaks, but the a very, very good race against Carolina, and, and really they were the two best horses in the race, so there's no reason that uh, to think that those two aren't major players in there. But I'm actually going to take a little bit of a shot in the race. I'm going to take a shot with the five and brace the lace. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to be sure of my picks, but I think I'm going to take a shot because this filly was involved in a crazy pace in the Mother Goose, and she's going here. They can't go with her early, and I'm just thinking there's a chance... I don't think a trainer as sharp as Tony Dutra is coming back in this race to embarrass himself again. He's giving this Philly one more chance, and I'm thinking of doing it what should be a pretty big price. Good stuff. And then as we, as we look at the race's guaranteed money, Andy, this, for this weekend? Yeah, we've got a half a million dollar guarantee in the pick four. That's the last four races. The Alabama's the third leg. And you, know, you look through the sequence, and it starts out with, with a two-year-old maiden race, uh, for mostly first-time starters. I think Chad Brown's portfolio manager, the five and the three forever ammo for trainer Al Stahl. I'm going to guess at this point, those are the two. The horses you probably want in the ninth. For me, I went three, nine, five. I, I, the horse to beat is on the outside. The nine said, leave. I'm thinking the top Fletcher might beat him with a three Zambian dream. The five top billing, a horse who had a lot of, you know, hype and potential triple crown horse for Todd Fletcher. I'm sorry, for Christian McGay. Now this horse is a four-year-old. He's trying the turf for the first time. Shows have very good numbers. First time on the turf with horses, the non-maidens. And that's something the water trainers don't do well. And he does well. And the last race, my main two are the four, Neil Molino, who looks like a favorite for Bill Mott. And the three, a first-time starter, for Jonathan Shepard, Crocus Hill, is from a, her dam was a, a winner of over a million dollars on the turf. I thought that one might be live. Yeah. It looks like a tough sequence, but it's always tough at Saratoga. But it's always fun. Heck yeah, absolutely. We'll have fun again uh, this weekend, of course. And for all of Andy's insight, at Andy Serling on Twitter or Naira.com is where it's at. And Andy, just because I would get emails and hate tweets if I didn't ask you, any update on American Pharaoh? 
you no, know, no. I mean, we're waiting for him to work this weekend, and uh, they're going to they're gonna make a decision after the work. I mean, I just think it's a question of whether or not they think it's the right move. If you ask me, if I was, I am a betting man, I would bet he's coming. But uh, that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, and it sounds like a lot of people are leaning that way. So if if it's after the workout on Monday, timetable, or excuse me, over the weekend, is the timetable like Monday when we would know? Well, we'll probably know by Sunday, if okay. not Saturday. I'm not sure if he's working Saturday or Sunday, but uh, I think we'll know shortly after work. I think they've, they're close to making their decision. They just want to make sure everything is good. If, if things work out, I think there's a good chance we can expect to see. Beautiful. Andy Serling of At The Post Live. He's the host tonight going on at the Parting Glass in downtown Saratoga. Go see him. That show starts at 8 o'clock and you can hear it right here on 104.5 The Team, 9 a.m. on Saturday and after the Yankees game on Monday. Andy, have a great weekend, man. Have fun. You too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.